do. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I burned my finger and I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Jeremy. And we are at the Savory Suitcase. Yeah. And today we're making pancake art. Today we're the sweet suitcase. Yeah. Yeah. So today, so being on the keto diet, um, you know, there's obviously a lot of restrictions and things that we have to follow. So um, over the last couple of months, we, um, since I've been able to kind of start introducing some more foods into my diet, um, we did some research and figured out some different recipes on how to make keto pancakes. And they're pretty good. They're really pretty darn good, not gonna lie. So we've made the keto pancakes before, but we've never done pancake art before. Nope, so this is new. So don't consider that part like a tutorial or no. like a follow along. It's just cause, you know, it's a rainy day and we wanted something to do. Yeah. So let's make the batter and then we'll uh, mix up some colors. Whole bunch of colors. So we're gonna start out, uh, we've got a blender. Okay. Um, if you don't have a blender, you should get one. You should probably should get one. Um, or honestly, just look up other recipes. There's tons of them out there. You can try other recipes that don't require a blender. Um, the reason that we're using a blender, uh, it makes it a, a, a lot softer because almond flour can kind of have a tendency to leave a little bit of a gritty texture. Um, and we also found a recipe that we're using that has cream cheese. So that's going to help blend it a lot smoother. So we're gonna go in our blender and you just dump all the ingredients go in at once and then you blend. So we're gonna start with six eggs. All right, so we've got our eggs in the blender. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, vanilla. So we're gonna do a teaspoon. Where'd that vanilla come from? Hey, this vanilla is from Mexico. If you wanna see that video, it'll be up here. Mm. It actually, it's a very different fragrance vanilla from Amazon Mexico. Oh, hey, look, Amazon. Amazon's here. Yeah. Thank you. Morning. So yeah, it's got a really, it's got a really nice, it's really nice and floral. It smells like vodka. It doesn't smell as much like fake, you know, imitation vanilla. It's good stuff. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon's worth in there just for a little bit of flavor. Okay, and the next ingredient we're gonna add is cream cheese. So you can use low fat cream cheese, regular cream cheese, fat free, whatever you wanna use. We're using regular cream cheese. So you need six ounces. We're gonna take our six ounces of cream cheese with our eggs and our vanilla. We're gonna go everybody in on that one. We need two cups of almond flour. You wanna say hi? There's one cup. You wanna say hi, White Rabbit's making pancakes? Sue Chef is here. There he is. Hey, bud. <laughs> hi, old man. You want a pancake? Old man. You want a pancake? You want a cupcake? <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna go in with cup number two. So we're gonna take our granulated, basically Splenda, our baking Splenda. Uh, if you have granulated swerve, if you wanna use brown sugar swerve, you can use that as well, or any, basically any erythritol-based sugar replacement. So we need four tablespoons, four tablespoons of Splenda. So I'm just gonna do them into this cup because it's a little easier. And four tablespoons would be how many? Four tablespoons, actually, if we were being really smart, I would do, you tell me. A quarter cup. A quarter cup. Ah. That's correct, and I've lost count. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm going to use that as a learning tool. We're going to say quarter cup of Splenda. Hey. Boom. And then we're also gonna have you add one teaspoon of kosher salt. And then for baking powder, so this is what's gonna make them nice and light and fluffy. Oh boy, oh boy. We need four teaspoons. Which is one tablespoon. <gasps> is no. that right? No. Well, yes. One tablespoon plus one teaspoon. So a tablespoon is three teaspoons. What? Not That's four. ridiculous. So instead of doing four teaspoons, you can do one tablespoon, one teaspoon. So they're in threes, but 
cup measures are in fours? Not necessarily. Cup measures can also be in thirds. Third of a cup. Two thirds of a cup. This is why I don't bake. Make sure with your tablespoon that you level it off. So there's your tablespoon. So that's three of your teaspoons. And then your additional fourth teaspoon. That's all she wrote, folks. Everybody's in. So we're gonna take our lid. And I'm gonna start making the colors. Whoop, whoop. The, the entire house at this point. Yeah. But it's just for the angles. Amateur videographers, it's we really got to get creative with the uh, tools and equipment we have. So we are bringing to you a different angle of our kitchen. And that is the top of our refrigerator. It is. Is it clean up there? Hopefully. Check it out for us. Let us know. <laughs> so we've got all our colors. We got some black, green, yellow, blue. We left some plain white. Uh, we got a red, a yellow, and a purple. I definitely think that the liquid food color definitely mixed the easiest yeah yeah, yeah. but the, the gel purple, colors you need less of but it, it's yeah so you gets can a little see clumpy. we probably should have shaken these for a little longer but you know it's amateur hours you can so. always mix them separately in a bowl and then pour the bowl and it's just more of a mess so we were trying to avoid all that so let's go ahead and start with our first what design. are we gonna do first we're gonna do the popsicle i want to do the rainbow first. you want to do the rainbow so okay Let's go. I'm gonna start with the white. Okay. You good with that? Yeah, that's fine. Soon. They definitely said that you can start low with the heat as you're like trying to draw your designs and then bring it up higher mm -hmm. so that way the pancakes are like starting to cook but then once you're all done they kind of all cook at the same time. Yep. So right towards the end of us finishing our details I went ahead and turned the griddle all the way up so that we can actually cook it now. So we gotta give it a few minutes. Oh no, I broke it! Oh no! <laughs> Automatic winner! <laughs> Unless you don't break mine too. <laughs> so you gotta lay it on a little thick, boo. Oh. I probably gotta had to let it sit longer. Oh, disaster. Oh, disaster. <laughs> oh, but she brown. <laughs> but theory behind it is uh okay so maybe don't turn it up that high okay well we're gonna call this first round a total failure okay <laughs> <laughs> all right gang listen we're back we've now made another double batch and each bottle is about two-thirds of the way full so we should have plenty the one thing I'll say is if you're planning on having a lot of different colors, like we do, make more than you think you need. Yeah, we're um, not gonna eat all of these. It was no. just fun to play around with, yeah. so. We also added just a slightly bit less salt in the second recipe. Yep. Maybe that's a little bit of a, you know, a tip for next time. Yep. So, okay. I wanna make popsicles. Mm. So, let's try that. Okay. I wanna start with orange. Just a little this time. Yeah, we're not gonna try and make them brown like they were. I cranked it up last time. 
thinking, you know, we needed to speed the process. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. But, uh, you know, that's what happens in life. It's all about learning. All right, gang, here we go. Hannah's flipping. Hey, successful release. Look hey. at that. How cool is that? All right, I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to lose my stick, but um, I'm okay with that. It's like a bomb pop. Got a little drip action going. Much better on the temperature. So we went up to like 250. We're going to turn it back down to warm. All right, what's next? All right, now we're going to make a watermelon. Can I think about it for a second? Can we have a planning period? No. Go. See, we went for a different strategy. Mm -hmm. Mine's a slice of watermelon. Yours is a half a watermelon. Well, what do you think about the half moon slices? Was even a slice of watermelon that big? Oh, so if you cut a watermelon into quarters, I guess you would get that. Are you ready? Mine's ready. I need that. I need that real quick. Sorry. Oh my God. I wasn't ready. Look, now it's a quarter of a watermelon. Okay, so for the last one, I think we're going to do a donut, uh, so we can decorate it however we want, and then uh, that'll be our. Uh, do we want that to be the last one? I think maybe we'll do one more. Since the rainbow didn't go well, um, but it's going to be dealer's choice, so you can come up with whatever you want. So let's make the donut first. Yeesh, oh Pete! All right, I like it. All right, donut first, y'all. Let's see. envision where I was going with mine. Which yes, actually ironically was very similar to Hannah's, but I feel like mine more embodied. Now let's be real here too. So I actually went a little bit of an extra mile and left the real hole. You didn't, which is okay. Cause you, you know, you got the So, big reveal. We're gonna what do are you doing? One final design. I'm going to make a pumpkin. Ooh, I'm going to go for a palm tree in an island. Ooh. That's been what I've been planning in my head. So, we'll, we'll see. I might have to get two spatulas to flip this guy, but uh, I think I can nail it. Yeah, if so someone doesn't try to flip my pancake I didn't too early. I didn't mean to. I know. So, it's okay. This is going to be our redeeming, our last round. Let's hope. And it turns out that maybe we're equally as good at it as the other. Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I think we both did pretty good so far. All right, so let's go. We're going to start. Stay as far over as you can. I 
I'm going to remove my tree from the island and piece it back together. Towards you, towards us. One, two. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I burned my finger and I choked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's salvageable. Let's do it. Let's do it. You do it. It's totally salvageable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's a little dark. Yeah, the color. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> just jumped because I burned my finger. Yeah, I just broke my palm tree too, so. Okay. Okay. I need that. 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 Those coconuts don't look very good. <laughs> Listen, it's not the most luxurious <laughs> island. We're on, we're on a freaking budget, okay? But it got flipped. I'm pretty happy about that without completely breaking. I mean, it broke where I told it to. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jacko. Oh, your little curly, twisty cue there is crunchy. Oh, boy. Stop touching. Do you want to make another one? No. Alright. See, look, you can see the waves. Yeah, it's very nice. With the what? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Uh, dude, you carved him. It's fine. <laughs> I've never been able to draw. It's never been my thing. Art's not been my thing. It's been your thing. Um, but you also make, like, very beautiful wedding cakes. But so, see, like. Uh, this is a good blend of the two, but it's still not quite the same. So, all right, here's the final dealer's choice design. Yeah. Got my island with my crab and my palm tree. And I have a broken in half pumpkin. Yeah, compared to the other disasters that we made. All right. So this is definitely like a fun thing to do. Yeah, you could do it with the kids. You know, you could do it for a birthday party that could be fun. But I would say it is not gonna turn out anything like the ones that you've seen on Instagram. Nope. Which, you know, isn't that just life? Yeah, it's so. just the way it is, yeah. But I think we had a lot of fun. We so. did have fun. I hope you enjoy some keto pancakes in the very near future. Yeah, oh, we're snacking already. Okay. Pretty good. Tastes good, yeah. So make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Let us know which one of these is your absolute favorite. And then make sure you subscribe so you can see more of our travels, more of our recipes, you know, just generally more of things that we think are interesting. Yeah, we release a new video every Saturday, so you always have something to look forward to. And if you wanna be um, alerted when we release the video, uh, just click the bell up there somewhere. Well, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our video, yeah, and we're glad you're here. So long. Bye.